Revelation is the fifth chapter. Happy Easter Day, everybody. Or happy Resurrection Day. Amen. Glory to God. <clears throat> Revelation 5, starting from the first verse. Then I saw in the right hand of him who was seated on the throne a scroll written within and on the back, sealed with seven seals. And I saw my angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and to break its seals? And no one in heaven or on earth or under the earth was able to open the scroll or to look into it. And I began to weep loudly because no one was found worthy to open the scroll or to look into it. And one of the elders said to me, Weep no more. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has conquered so that he can open the scroll and its seven seals. And between the throne and the four living creatures and among the elders, I saw a lamb standing as though it had been slain with seven horns and with seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. And he went and took the scroll from the right hand of him who was seated on the throne. And when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb, each holding a harp and golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song, saying, Worthy are you to take the scroll and to open its seals. For you were slain, and by your blood you wrapped some people for God from every tribe and language and people and nation. And you have made them a kingdom and priests to our God, and they, and they shall reign on earth. Then I looked, and I heard around the throne and the living creatures, and the elders, the voice of many angels, numbering 10,000 times 10,000 of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessings. And I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them, saying to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. And the four living creatures said, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshipped him. Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has conquered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my! He's, yeah. Look at somebody say that he's conquered. He's conquered. You know when you when you stop and think about the scenario and the setup of this particular passage of scripture, it is a continuation of the chapter four when God told when the Lord told uh, John come up hither, and John walked through a door that was in heaven, and the first thing he saw was a throne, and he who sat on the throne. And the Bible says the thunders and the lightnings were coming forth out of the throne. And it, 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 the throne was like an emerald. And he who sat upon the throne, there was 24 elders around the throne. And there were four creatures amen, at the throne. Amen. We had to have six wings, two that covered their face, and two that covered their feet, two and to fly. Listen, it is an amazing thing that when John went to heaven, he stepped into a praise and worship service. And I want to let you know today that praise and worship is constantly going on in heaven. That's why the enemy fights praise and worship so many times in churches because he does not want us to magnify the Lord with them in heaven. I don't want them to worship him all by themselves. I want to join in on it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to join in on what God is doing in heaven as well. And then they were magnifying and praising him who sat on the throne. And then there was a scroll in the hand of him who sat on the throne.
the throne and the cry went out who is worthy and who is worthy to, to open and to, to release the seals on the scroll and there was nobody that was worthy and John began to weep he began to weep because he couldn't find or there wasn't anybody that was that he knew of that was able to loose the seal. That's the problem. We're looking at people that we know to do things and they can't do it. All right. All right. All right. Only one person was able and worthy enough to, 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 to loose the seals on the scroll. Now when you look at this scripture, you ask yourself, what does the scroll have to do with anything? Why was there a scroll in the hand of God anyway? Well, come on, right, break it down, Apostle. Break it down. But when you look into the scripture, scripture interprets scripture. Uh-huh. And in Jeremiah, it was a scenario in Jeremiah that in Jeremiah, he was prophesying to the people that they were going to be in captivity for 70 years. Right, right, right. Jeremiah's cousin. Huh had a piece of land and the piece of land was going to be worth nothing because for 70 years they was going to be in another land he approached Jeremiah and told Jeremiah to buy the land Jeremiah didn't want to buy the land at first but the Lord spoke to him and told him to purchase the land so he purchased the land even though he wasn't going to be there to live in the land but he purchased the land anyhow. So anyway, as he purchased the land, they had the document, and the document was rolled up and sealed. And the only one that can unloose those seals was the one who had ownership to the land. Nobody else can loose the seals because they weren't qualified they were worthy and they did not own the land. Do I have a witness of? Yes, yes, yes. So we have no difficulty in understanding because when they came back to the land, Jeremiah's relatives or offspring or those that were in his family had the right to take the seal off the scroll. Mm -hmm. They had a right to the land. When God said who was worthy to open the book and to loose the seals, it was just another way of saying who is the rightful heir? Yeah. Who can say, I have title to break those seals? Title to claim that world. It belongs to me. Who is worthy to take possession of that world and subject it to himself? So in other words, Jesus had the right Yes. To go and take yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. the scroll yes. out of the hand of him who sat on the throne. Uh -huh. And the Bible says, and he was worthy to do so. Yes. Listen, beloved. The Bible says this. The Bible says that it was the lamb, it, it was the lion of the tribe of Judah. Uh -huh. Do you have a lion? Uh -huh. The lion, who is the tribe of Judah, has conquered. Then you have a lamb. Oh, oh God. You have a lion? Yes, sir. And it would seem like a lion, amen, would just conquer in his strength. He weighs at least 600 pounds. His fangs are at least five inches long. They are powerful. It's a powerful animal. But what did he do? The lion became a lamb. Jesus. He became a lamb. He conquered to the death of the lamb. And the Bible says that when they look at the lamb, they look at, at a lamb that had been slain. Listen, beloved, the day is coming that he already took care of the death part. But the day is coming when the lion part. Yeah. in this world, in this universe. So listen, some people may think 
they getting away with it now, but the lion is coming, baby. He's worthy because he conquered through death. He's worthy because he laid down his life in death. He's worthy despising the shame. He went to the cross. He's worthy. He is worthy. Somebody say he's worthy. Let me tell you, when Jesus came as a lamb, all hell broke loose against him. He didn't just step into the realm of time and the opposition. He stepped into the realm of time when the Holy Spirit took amen, the remaining 23 chromosomes from Mary and he produced another 23 chromosomes. Yeah. You better break it. Yeah. In the womb of Mary. Yeah. And the Son of God came through the door of the womb of his mother. Yeah. When he stepped into and when the time of, of into this time, the enemy knew he was born. And as you read the word of God, you see that Herod wanted to kill him. Do you not know the spirit of Herod is in the world today? You are pregnant with the Son of God. And the spirit of Herod wants to abort. But Jesus came as a lamb. And the Bible says, the Bible says, in as much then as the children have partaken of flesh and blood, he himself likewise shared in the same. That through death, he might destroy him who had the power of death. That is the devil. Do you not know that Jesus came for the sole purpose to die? That's why he came. He wanted to destroy death. He wanted to destroy. And when God set it up so much, he set it up so good that he allowed evil to destroy itself. Yeah. Yeah. That on the cross where Satan did his worst, God did his best. Yeah. And the Bible says, you meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. Yeah. Satan meant it to, oh my God. Yeah. You see, God didn't say, I used your evil for good. He said, what you meant for evil, that same evil, I meant it for good. Yeah. 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 And what he did was, what he did was, when when he died, when he suffered, he sealed, Satan sealed his own doom. Mm -hmm. It was a battle that came when Jesus came. Someone said he was meek and lowly, humble and holy. Yes, he was meek, but he would also go inside your head with a whip. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's right. And what I'm trying to say is this, that, that, that he conquered as a lamb. If he conquered as a lamb, he is going to walk in that conquering as a lion. Oh my God. You see, what we need to understand is we are more than conquerors because he conquered. We are more than conquerors because he conquered in all these things. We are, somebody say in, 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 in. Look at somebody say in. In what you are in right now, you are more than a conqueror. No, y'all figure out right there. Look at somebody, look at somebody, look at somebody and tell them. Look at them, they ain't gonna bite you. What you are in. 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 I'm just saying it too. What you are in, you are more than a conqueror. You've got to be in something. I'm more than a conqueror. I'm more than a conqueror. I'm more than a conqueror. You ain't in nothing. You can't conquer something if you ain't in nothing. But regardless of what you are in, Regardless of your tribulation or your pain or your emotional upset or, 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 or your weakness, listen, but regardless of what you are in, you are more than a conqueror in him that loved you. Why? Because a lion became a lamb. Easter, Easter, Easter is more than new clothes. Come on now, you're breaking it. 
I like about myself just now. It's been a minute since I went to the store. I like about myself. But Easter is more than just clothes. Easter is more than a bunny rabbit. It's more than Easter eggs. Oh yes it is. That people only understood that it meant that Jesus conquered when he was on earth. He defeated the enemy. He defeated him. The Bible says, he said, Behold, I give unto you power. In fact, Jesus said, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. I want you to know that the Son of God defeated our enemy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Through death, he destroyed him who had the power of death, and Jesus canceled all of Satan's legal claims over us. Yes, Did y'all hear that? He canceled all his legal claims over us. There was a time that Satan had a rightful claim. See, come on, come on. There was a time he had every right to throw a yoke around your neck with a chain and drag you wherever he pleased. But come on, sir. Come on. Yes, sir. God. Yes, sir. Who is rich in mercy. You see, what you are in right now, you don't have to stay there. Come on now. Because the lion conquered. Yes, 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 yes. Someone says, I can't, I gotta say, no, no, no. He will never go against his word. And if his word, when we submit ourselves to him, he automatically starts forming us and shaping us and conforming us to the image of the Son of God. Oh, y'all hear what I'm saying? Yes. Why? Because he conquered. Yes. 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 Jesus. So here we are on the Easter Sunday morning yes. celebrating amen, the resurrection of the Lord. I want to let you know that the resurrection is a powerful thing. In the resurrection, let me tell you all something. Some of you are in your nighttime. Some of you are in your grave of situations. Some of you are in a situation where a stone is rolled in your entryway and you just can't seem to get out. And you are at night. It's night. It's dark. And you don't know what to do. But listen, resurrection happened at night. It happened at night. The Bible says that when they went to the tomb, it was still dark. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Great, great. And the stone was rolled away. The Lord wants to roll your stone yeah. out of the way so you can come out yeah. of your grave and be resurrected to the place that God has for you. Listen, Jesus said, no man can come unto me except my father draw him. And if he drew you, he knows your situations. And every situation may be a dark place, but weeping may enjoy, or weeping may endure for a night, but joy will come in the morning. The lion conquered. That's right. That's right. That's good. I'm looking for the day that if some of us leave before Jesus comes, because he conquered, we will get up first. That's right. The grave will not be able to hold us. Sometimes I think about, I was thinking about my father. He died when I was nine years old. I was thinking about him, and I'm sure right now that his body is decayed to nothing. But the day is coming. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That in every particle 
of that body is going to be brought back together. Yes. You don't hear what I'm saying? Yes. I don't care if a person's been blown up by a bomb. Yes. I don't care if the shark ate them in the water. Yes. I mean, and somebody in another shark ate that shark. Yes. And the whale ate that shark. Yes. Yes. And if somebody else ate that whale, yes. Yes. it don't matter. When the day comes yes. Yes. that the trumpet of God to sound, the dead in Christ is going to rise first. And we who are alive and remain yeah. shall be caught up yeah. to meet him. Mm -hmm. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. I don't know if that's going to happen before the Antichrist comes or not. I don't know. Don't, know. don't <laughs> ask me. <laughs> But one thing I know for sure, that regardless of what happens in this life, even the Lord, he is the conqueror. Yes. And he is the victor. Yes, yes. Stop walking around here like you ain't got no hope. Mm -hmm. Come on. I don't care what you've been through. That's right. I don't care what you're going through. Don't you walk around here with your head down like you ain't got no hope. Jesus is your hope. Yes, he is. He's your hope of yes. glory. And the things and the people that we have, the Lord takes people out of our lives for, for his reasons that only he knows. And, and the wisdom of God, we don't understand. But we're not like those who cut themselves. When our loved ones die and cut ourselves and groaning and moaning, no. We are those that look up and say the day is coming that I shall see them again. Why? Because the lion conquered. Yes. Yes. And the day is coming that we're going to rise. Beloved, do you know who you got on the inside of you? All right. All right. Do you know who's living on the inside of you? Worthy is the lamb. Worthy is the lamb. That word worthy means deserving of a specific thing. Having or showing the qualities or abilities that merit recognition in. You know what? In other words, he's saying the Lord deserves the praise. He has shown that he's worthy yeah, yeah, yeah. of the praise. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You see, I'm not beginning to look at this. I believe. What God wants us to see is to pull back the veil of the flesh and see the risen king. Yes. And look past what you see around you. I believe that this particular chapter was recorded so that we can rejoice with heaven because we understand that the king has everything in his hand. Yes, yes, yes. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. He is the one that's ruling over all things. The Bible says this, and I love the scripture where it says, Paul said, for by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth. Whether uh, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. And he is above all things and in him all things consist. Yes. Yes. What Paul was trying to let us see is the, the authorities of the princes of the air. He's over them too. Yes, and there was nothing that happens and the nations of this world that Jesus doesn't have the last say so. Amen. 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 Nothing. Right. Right. From the nations mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to you, mm -hmm. he has a last say so in everything. And everything that you walk through, he has a last say so say either you're going to walk through it or you're not. Mm -hmm. Nothing comes your way except the king orders it. My steps are ordered yes. by the Lord. And he knows everything about you. So why should we fret? I believe that today we need to understand what it is to rejoice in the, our king and realizing that he is the conqueror. Yes. Not just for one day. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. That we will have a constant flow. Yes, 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 yes. yes. That he is God. Yes. And beside him there is no other. Amen. And we ought to put our faith and our trust in him knowing that God has everything in his hands. Yes. So in heaven, is trying to let us see. God is trying to let us see that it's all well. It's all good. Yes, it is. It really is. It's all good. Look at somebody say, it's all good. There's no need to worry about it. It's, it's all good. It, no matter what you're walking through, it's all, it's all good. Yes. He's got you. He knows some of you are, some of you are carrying past hurts deeply. Someone has hurted you so deep in your past that you yet have not gotten on the right track. Because you are looking at your hurt instead of looking at your lion. My life does not consist in what somebody else does. That's right. My life consists on the king. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And I trust that everybody here, under the sound of my voice, that your life will not depend on me but your life will depend on him because I can make a mistake and be gone tomorrow Amen. Amen. what are you going to do then because I'm not your savior he's your savior I know some people they don't know how to deal with pain don't know how to deal with hurt I'm talking to somebody in here Yes, sir. you don't know how to deal with it you don't know how to deal with it and you're carrying it. And you're feeding it. Mm. And you're embracing it. And then you have a pity party and tell yourself, what's the use? It's <laughs> real. And the more you embrace it, the deeper it goes. Yes. To the degree that you cannot go forward in your God like you know you should because you are embracing something. Let me give you a secret. The Son of God was tempted in all points as we are, yet without sin. That's why the Bible says he is our high priest who is not untouched by the feelings of our infirmities. But he's making intercession for us. Yeah, yeah. And while you are holding your hurt and nourishing your hurt, the Lord has prayed for you Amen. and called you to get from there to here. Yeah. He's been carrying you all along, even though you had your arms around this hurt. But I believe today is the day is the time for you to be resurrected from holding on to your hurt. Yes. Let it go. Yes. Yes. Jesus. Let the hurt go. You are a prisoner of your past. Yes. And you allow somebody who imprisoned you years ago to keep you in prison. Yes. 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 I'm still talking about the lion becoming the lamb. He conquered. So he knows what you're feeling. He knows what you're carrying. He knows the burden that you feel. He understands where you are. But that's why he died. Because he who knew no sin became sin. That we might become the righteousness of God. It is the will of God to, for you to turn it loose. I don't care what it costs you. Jesus. If people walk out your life, let them walk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Amen. They walk out your life, let them walk. Yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because your relationship with God is so much more yes, it is. than people. Yes, it is. That's right. Our Lord. Because people will love you today yeah. and maybe cut your throat out the next. Yes, That's real. Yes. Yes, Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yes. There is no heart like the heart Come on now. of church people. Mm -hmm. Woo. Mm. Yes. <laughs> ain't, no, ain't no hurt like that. <laughs> 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 
But you know what? Some of you sound just like that to God. Right. That's good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. You sound just like that to God. You're hollering and screaming. Oh, that's good. And all God is saying, well, give it to me. All you got to do is give it to me. Amen. 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 Just give it to me. No, it, will you just give it to me so you can stop all the hollering? I'm tired of getting all the hollering. <laughs> Will you, will you just give it to me? And you're holding on, and you're holding on to it, and you're holding on to it, and you're holding on to it, and you make it, then you're making excuses for your actions. <laughs> you're making excuses for your actions. Because you're holding on to it. Because, well, I, I've been hurt. People don't come at you because I've been hurt. I don't know why she's coming. I've been hurt. Really, what else is new? You bring the word this way. What else is new? People get hurt every day. Yep. But you can go to your job. Oh. <laughs> Come on now. Your supervisor can hurt your feelings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every day, you can go to work. Supervisor can talk to you like you ain't got no sense. Mm. Co workers. Talking behind your back, setting you up for failure, making you look bad, trying to put the blame on you. But you know what you'll do? You'll go home at 5 o'clock, turn around, and punch the clock back at 8 o'clock in the morning. Amen. Amazing, isn't it? Amen. But when you come to church, I can. <laughs> that lip. <laughs> they hurt me. I'm oh, going go back to church. They hurt me so bad. Oh, God. When I was a child. Well, that's the word now. I thought as a child. Yeah. I reasoned like a child. Yeah. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. We have a lot of children in the church. That's tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine. They're like tumbleweeds that blow by every wind. And while they're blowing, they're sowing their seeds as they go. Oh, y'all, y'all hear what I'm saying? Oh, Jesus. And they're blowing and going from place to place and never settling down. Why? I've been hurt. And the lion in you, because he's in you, saying, I'm greater than that. And you don't want to yield to him. Because then we get comfortable where we are. But I believe the day is coming. Mm -hmm. That the lion in you. <laughs> the, somebody say the lion in me. Lion in me. Is going to show his things. Yeah. I believe that his power. Is going to be demonstrated in our lives. Yes. To let you know. I've had enough. And then when he's had enough, he's going to wrestle with you. He's going to wrestle with you. And when he said you still ain't yielding, he's going to hit that thigh. Ooh, and do that it. third hot was that bone in the thigh. <laughs> the what? The femur. That's the strongest bone in your body. When he touches that, you're going to live, baby. <laughs> and you're going to live because he knows the right place in your life to touch you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. Just like that. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I don't know when. And I'm, I'm wrapping up here. I don't know when God touched the femur bone. Because she was wrestling me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but one day, she came living. Yeah. <laughs> and 
and she's been stable ever since. <laughs> <laughs> the, because the lion show his strength. Yeah. Yeah. I would rather fall on the rock. <coughs> they have the rock. Follow me. Yes. And this is the day and time that what we rejoice about and what we sing about and preach and teach about, it's time for us to live it. Yes. Because Jesus Christ is Lord. Yes. 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 We can't be politically correct. We have to be biblical correct. And Jesus is Lord. He's Lord. And He knows what He's doing. So everything that you've gone through in your life, the lion became the lamb to carry that part that you're enduring. But He endured it because He knows that victory you can live. Yes. Because in the world, you don't have tribulation. But Jesus said, be of good courage. In me, you're going to have victory. And Jesus is our victory. Yes, is. How many know he is? Yes, he is? So this Easter Sunday, and tomorrow, and the next day, mm -hmm. and the following days after that, yes, sir. we ought to rejoice. And if the enemy tell you you're going to lose, Open up to him the book of Revelation, the fifth chapter. Mm -hmm. And put it in his face. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And let him see. Just like that. <laughs> let him see that because he rose yes, sir. and he won, I'm going to win. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. So while the enemy is reminding you of your past, Come on. Remind him of his future. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to say it again. When the enemy is reminding you of your past, he's constantly running his mouth about our past. And while he's running his mouth, Agree with the way I was saying it quickly. You better say that. That was a good yeah, word. Yeah. Agree with him quickly. Because what he said about you in the past is correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what you did yesterday, you had to witness doing? Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. Right, right. And then he called him a lie. Lucy, the devil, you lying. No, he ain't lying. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, right, right. He ain't lying. He telling you the truth. But he tells you the truth to condemn you. But why he's reminding you of your past? You say, yeah, you're right. But let me remind you of your future. Because your home is hell. And I ain't going with it. Because I've been redeemed. <laughs>